Good morning, everyone, and a happy Sukkot. During the holiday of Sukkot, we do something very special. We invite seven special guests. As you see behind me, the kids drew a very nice uspizen, it's called. We have Abraham on top. We have Isaac and Jacob. We have Moshe, Aaron, Joseph, Yosef, and King David. We have one over there. Kids made a whole bunch. They're very nice and beautiful. The question the commentaries want to know is why do we do it? What's the idea behind this? The commentaries tell us because each one of these special guests have something special to add to the holiday of Sukkot. So I want to specifically talk about today's Uspizan. Because every day there's a specific guest that brings along everybody else. First day is Abraham. Second day is Isaac. Third day is Jacob. Fourth is Moshe. Then Aaron. Then Joseph. Today is Joseph's day. Yosef, Hatzadik. Then we have King David tomorrow. Commentaries say, listen, all the other ones make so much sense. Abraham, the three forefathers. Moses and Aaron, the first. The Moshe, who took us out of Egypt. Aaron, the first high priest. King David, the father of the Mashiach, the Messianic era. First king from Judah. But Yosef, he was just one of the 12 tribes. Of course, that's something very special, very high. But why was Joseph nominated to be part of the seven special guests over all the other brothers? And the commentaries tell us something very powerful. There's a tremendous lesson to learn from Joseph. Joseph was the first one to survive his spirituality in exile, in a cultural exile. In the exile where he was second in command. In the exile where he was showered with materialistic stuff and to be able to succeed and excel in the physical materialistic world. But Joseph is known as Joseph at Tzaddik because he had strong roots. He's called Yesod Foundation because he made sure not to lose sight of what's important. Made sure not to lose sight of the foundation of his Judaism and to make sure that his priorities were always set straight. And therefore, Joseph excelled in that. And that's one of the fundamental things that we have to learn every Sukkot. By going out of Sukkot, it's supposed to bring us back into reality of what's true and what's not true. What's important and what's not important. And Joseph is teaching us that we always have to make sure to go back to our roots and see, are we have a strong foundation in our spirituality? Joseph lived in the physical world. He was second in command. But he never lost sight of what was truly important, his Judaism. Wishing everyone a beautiful day and a happy circus.